Hi, you probably already know that chatbots can be awesome, but we just wanted to inspire you with three examples of our customers. These are three completely different chatbots, catering customers in completely different industries. One of the examples we'll be showing you is for a delivery slash shipping company. One will be for one of the biggest Dutch amusement parks, and the other will be for an insurance company. What do they all have in common? They're built with conversational AI cloud. So let's start with Chatbot Tracy, the advanced customer service chatbot of DHL Parcel Benelux. Tracy has a personality which enhances the brand experience. She can answer many questions, but mostly helps both customers and businesses to track their deliveries. Let's see if she can track down our delivery. When we navigate to DHL's support page, immediately we're presented with Tracy, where we're greeted with a welcome message, asking us whether we're receiving a package or whether we're, we sent a package. If we click that we're receiving a package, she's going to ask us what she can do for us, and we're going to say that we want to track our delivery, meaning track pocket in Dutch. She'll uh, ask for a confirmation, checking if indeed we're trying to uh, check the status of our shipment. We'll say, yes, that's true. And then she's going to ask us for more information. She's going to ask us what our track and trace code is, which we've prepared ahead of time. She's going to ask us about our postal code, which we'll input here. And then she's going to ask our house number, which we'll provide as well. She'll thank us, tell us that this is the data that she needed. And she tells me that the package was already delivered and that was delivered at the address we provided. And indeed, that's correct. We'll confirm that we indeed received the package and she'll ask us if there's any other comments that we wanna make about the delivery of this package, asking us if we perhaps have a complaint about the delivery uh, or if we would like to provide a compliment to the person that delivered the package to us. Now, let me show you an example of one of our customers in the leisure industry. Imagine going to a theme park such as the Efteling. How cool would it be to discover it before even going there? Efteling created a chatbot, Pennevere, for customer service, to prepare your visit, ordering tickets, and just for entertainment. Let's see if we can hop on a few roller coasters. When we navigate to the Efteling website, immediately we're presented with chatbot Pennevere. On the right hand side, we have the chatbot open and we're greeted with the welcome message celebrating their 70 year existence. If we ask about one of their rides, Joris and the Drak, we're immediately presented with an answer and a few dialogue options to choose from. But instead of no wanting to know more about this ride, instead, I want to know about buying tickets. So I'll say tickets kopen in Dutch, which will present us with another welcome message, asking us if we want to buy tickets and providing us a prompt to do so. But instead, I change my mind again and I'm going to choose to still know more, uh, still wanting to find out more about the ride that we asked about earlier. And we want to see the on-ride video. We're presented with an option to choose water or fire. So for now, we'll choose water. The chatbot says, have a lot of fun viewing the video. We'll click on the video. We're actually able to see the video playback within the chatbot itself. We're able to make it full screen which we'll skip for now, and we're provided with a dialogue option to continue the conversation just in case. Last but not least, Robert from insurer Florius. Robert is there to help you make your house more sustainable. You can find this help on a dedicated landing page. It's not your typical chatbot. It's more than a service assistant. It's a personal advisor. When we navigate to groenbegin.florius.nl, we're presented with a few prompts, which we'll click to which is going to explain what they're going to do for us. After that, Robert, their virtual assistant, greets us, tells us good afternoon, tells us that we're taking the first steps towards sustainability, which is great. We're going to be taking a look at our residence. It's going to explain to us that with a few minor adjustments, we can already become more sustainable than we are right now. We can ask what's going to actually happen to our data if we submit it. There's a brief explanation after which we're asked to provide our postal code our address and any additions we might want to define. If we submit that, then what you'll actually see happen is that Robert is looking um, looking for our house in the, in the Dutch registry and we're presented 
with an image of our house from Google Street View on the left-hand side, making sure that we have a personalized experience. And from here on out, we can actually continue the flow to actually see what steps we can take to make our own home more sustainable. This virtual advisor provides you with a personalized plan to make your home more sustainable. During this showcase, we looked at three customer examples across three very different industries, each one of them creating a distinct customer experience. Want to find out what conversational AI can mean for your business? Go to cm.com and find out more.